Ah, it is Friday though, which means it's time to take a look at what's been going on in the world of showbiz this week. So, first up, they've always maintained they would never reform, but in an interview with the Times newspaper today, Abby's Benny and Bjorn have hinted that the band could reunite for a one-off performance. So, ladies, does that tickle your fancy, Leslie? Yeah, yeah, I'm really does excited it? about that. Yeah, I like Abba. Well, it's just such cheerful, jolly music. It always puts oh, me in a... steady on, really Leslie, no, steady no, on. on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I like the idea of people reforming. I'm thinking about reforming reform myself. Reform myself! Reforming into what? Uh, no, but well. the thing I love about them is that they just, they obviously really love what they're doing. I mean, they're not reforming for the money, are they? No, but the and blonde think, one doesn't, does she? Well, no, she but doesn't she's want getting to know the others, board, really. she, But the thing is, they're great role models for middle-aged people, I think. Are they? I think so. In what way? They, because they love what they're doing and they're passionate about what they're doing and I just think that's fantastic. Well, so I, I never liked them when they were a pop group and I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beyond middle age, so there you go. <laughs> I think I'd rather look to Barbara Streisand or indeed Diana Ross for yes, my role yeah. model. I love the idea actually that actually it's only the two men so far that have said they might reform. <laughs> you can imagine the women going, oh, in their wildest dreams. <laughs> So, uh, no, good luck to them. Do you yeah. know, I don't like the fact that they're everywhere now, despite the fact that they're not together, like Mamma Mia, Abba yeah. World, Earl's Court, all that sort of stuff. But I have very fond memories of that Eurovision Song Contest. I think oh, I was about yeah. 15. <laughs> and I stayed up, watched it, went to bed and felt so happy. And I was doing it in the mirror with my hairbrush and everything. And then had to get up for my paper round in the morning oh, on a Sunday. And I just remember, I think, something momentous had happened. And I'll never oh, forget oh, that day. I mean, right down with Linda, I was never a big Abba fan, but you know what? Everybody's reforming, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, all bands that ever were have been reformed. Yeah. I mean, I think the Drifters. I love. Don't you love the Drifters? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I no, love them. No, no, no. I, well, it there was doesn't one really. Left, and I think it doesn't he's make gone. any difference. They reform whether they're dead or not. <laughs> <laughs> you forever don't you worry uh, also in the spotlight this week is supermodel sophie dahl who's become the latest culinary star with her own show the delicious miss dahl now the show has proved a hit with viewers but naturally critics have said her finger linking antics are a bit much and she seems to be trying to outdo nigella lawson as the seductress of the kitchen so is it right do you think to try and make cooking Sexy. I don't think she should bend over with those pears showing, though. Do you? <laughs> because that's a little bit off. But you don't know what you're cooking in the end, do you? <laughs> she had led by boiled eggs on as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I, I actually think. I love. I love sexy. Like Jamie Oliver's gorgeous, isn't he? But yeah. and the thing is, I think all these shows have got a bit prissy now. Just. Cook the food! Like Delia Smith, that's why I like Delia. She shows you what to do with an egg. <laughs> she? Well, she did do how to boil an egg, didn't she? she put it in water well, and you boil it. She was quite sexy when she was younger, She was, but she? you know what I mean? It's not all oh, yeah, get the melons yeah. out oh. and go... <laughs> Wrong, Sherry. I think food's all about passion. That's because you've got big melons. Yes! <laughs> and I cook them. <laughs> no, I think it's fantastic because, you know, they don't teach cooking in schools anymore. So, cook, I mean, kids think that cooking is getting a, a, you know, a dinner from a supermarket and sticking it in the microwave. Yeah, you think that's you know, cooking. You know what, let's you, know. you could be cooking in the nude next. Now, what well, we I do don't with, really care. You know, and you have sausages everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, some will be sausages, some will be fried lucky. eggs, you know. <laughs> She's brilliant. No, I have to say, I think it's a great programme because she's so enthusiastic about what she does. And she's, as I say, I think food and love are sort of synonymous with one another. Don't you remember that scene in Tom Jones? You're an actress, you remember, when they're, they're eating all that food and it's all that sex. Yeah, but that's so all that they often do it with and sucking and strawberries, well, don't they? That's very sexy. I've got a problem with that. Stop it. No, See, I thought, I thought she was exquisite. And I just yeah, found, exactly. I don't know, the way it was filmed and everything was this real visual feast. And I watched it with my 10-year-old old little son and he's sitting next to me and he's going oh my god oh that is go that is awesome and she had him in but it was the peanut butter fudge which <laughs> was, it was there was icing sugar in it brown sugar heaps of butter and peanut butter i've remembered it i'm going to do it at the weekend but, actually, you, know, but yeah. I, you have to say that i i think the critics are very mealy-mouthed and you could always 
know they were going to have a go at a mm. poor girl because she's yeah, so lovely. Yeah, Why gorgeous. shouldn't she be lovely? Mm. And actually, if it's all about getting your finger in your fi and, and making children eat, I'm all for that, actually, mm. because anything exactly. to make them eat, you know, and enjoy food. But I think I'm a bit with Sherry on this. I'd rather just have a cookery programme and a, perhaps a programme about sex somewhere else. <laughs> Involving food. Well, possibly, yes. <laughs> that's how much sex happens in your kitchen, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I've never noticed your melons before, Leslie, but now they're, they're pretty unforgettable. <laughs> Finally, from one supermodel oh, to gosh. another, this week Kate Moss puckered up for charity, doling out a central smooch to the highest bidder. The lucky man planted a smacker after splashing out £5,000. So, ladies, oh. here's the question. Who would you cough up five grand to kiss, do you reckon? Oh, oh now, let's think. Leslie. There'd be a list. Because mm. <laughs> I really do like a bit of a snog, I have to say. I, I really do. In fact, I used to get quite good marks for my kissing. Michael mm. Ball says I'm a very good kisser, excuse oh. me. Oh. <laughs> he does, he does. Difficult but... to kiss and sing at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, but actually the mouth is what it's all about, isn't it? Because some blokes, you just, all you can see are their mouths and, you know... Lips. Oh. It's lips. I mean, it just, you know, you just want to kiss them, lips. don't you? Absolutely. Yes. I suppose if I had to pick one, because there's a lot I would want to kiss, I mean, oh, Richard Gere... I tell you, no, Richard yeah. Burton. He's yeah. the one. I, he's dead, though. Does that matter? He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> I'd be very grateful if anybody offered any money to kiss me. To <laughs> kiss anybody. No, um, I think Marlon Brando would be quite high on. Oh, he's, yes. he's dead as well. And Johnny Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp's yeah. not the most beautiful. But Johnny Depp's so wonderful and little, I would probably swallow him whole if you <laughs> Do you know? Do you know? I didn't actually pay for my big kiss of all time. I was on the GMTV sofa, and I'd loved a certain man at the age of eleven, and I'd never met him, and it was my puppy love. And then he came into GMTV, and he lunged at me. Oh. You loved it. Are you? Are you? Nice. Kissing is the saliva gets in the way, but oh, we don't. No, no, but apart from that, Val Kilmer, you know. But I think the bigger the lips, the more they can engulf you. Is that the right thing to say? I think so. To me, it's like. But I'm not a thing with kissing because I no. think oh, it's kind I of. I have to say, Johnny wasn't moist, so it was. It was oh. nice. He wasn't moist, oh. and it was breakfast time. Oh, let's go back to cooking. <laughs> <laughs> this, however, is the start of our lunchtime.